So it's about that time of the year, upload date, week, upload schedule. Well, I don't know, but fact of the matter is that it's time to play more mini motorways. And today we're taking on Moscow. So the intro to Moscow said something along the lines of recreate the rings or the motorway rings of Moscow. And this got me thinking. That's maybe not too bad of an idea. So I think that's going to be the strategy for today. We're going to see if we can create like a ring network of roads all around this place as we grow. Now, first of all, we of course have to get to a stage where we can actually grow. So let's just speed up time here. And hopefully I don't mess this up before we get to 500 because I figured that, hey, there's a leaderboard here. I don't think we can see the leaderboard right now. But I know that my good buddy Fras has also made it to the Moscow level. And I'll tell you what, Fras did not have a high score. But we'll take a look at that later. Well, that did not take long for us to get our first expansion rather our next shop right there so we're still just running full red all of the buildings are located right next to each other and the shops are nicely located on the line here so i think the game is laying out a pretty easy start for us now do we have any bridges at the moment i believe that we do let's just remove that though because we don't need that just yet so i'm going to start out by selecting a roundabout here because if all things go well we will get all of the housings in lumps and these lumps we can use to create connections to our main ring around the city if that thing works though but we'll try to use it roundabouts as our main drive on and drive off of those rings i also feel like we're making way too much strategy for a game this simple but hey if a game has a leaderboard then i'm gonna do my best to climb that leaderboard now we got our first challenge because i see that this river is more than likely a big big river down here so we are gonna need some bridge connections but i gotta be clever about where we put this bridge connection but i'm actually thinking if we start by putting it here we can always edit that later are you kidding me, game? Okay, we have to do this differently then. Okay, we cannot connect the house directly to a bridge. So we just got cooked big time by the game because we can, there's no way that we can connect both of these. So one of those houses is just going to be useful. It's going to have to be this one for now. So hopefully we get a bridge rather soon, but let's just speed up game here a bit more. I'm unsure if one house can supply all of the cars needed. If not, then this is a terrible start. Maybe we'll get an expansion here soon. I think we do. So let's hope that we get some more ground available down here soon so we can connect both of those houses. Oh, and... And here is another shop. Well, you know what? I think the best trick to pull off right now is to do this and just pull a little switch you redo on those and just connect that as well because then these houses can or this house can help supply. This one can supply to that one and that one just takes over down there. Oh, and there we are. So we can now expand. Good stuff. And there's the other bridge that we needed. So let's go ahead and grab that one as well. I think we're going to rebuild most of this in just a bit. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this. But we definitely should rebuild it soon. Okay, so we just got our next store over here. And this store is actually located not the most ideal spot. But it's not a bad spot as such. I'm going to delete this bridge now because we need the bridge. I'm going to say over here. I just want to get this angle correct. Oh, yeah, that that's exactly what we needed. Connect these up as well. Are you going to? Good. Connect that. Just get these rose pieces back as well. Connect that one right there and connect that one right there. Beautiful. Right. So, I mean, the layout out right now is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. The thing that I'm thinking right now, I mean, I think we're going to go for a big, big high school here. This was a mistake. We can do that so much better. All right, so the game just starts us off with a bridge this time. I mean, I guess that's all right. We don't have to worry too much about the roads that we put down right now. We can always change them. So we somewhat where we were before, and we now have a couple of roundabouts again. So I guess it, it's time for attempt two here, and I'm feeling good about this one. For the second round here, well, we have a few things that we need to do differently that we didn't do before. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to put a roundabout here this time. We're going to bring down a road to there, get rid of all of that stuff, just cut it down a bit right here, and then simply going to go here and drag ourselves a bridge we don't have a bridge i actually thought we had two bridges well this changes the situation quite severely um how do we do this then well that is that is something that we need to figure but for now we're going to create a road there so that one connects to there and we're going to put those houses there just connect this one and then we got to figure i don't know if it's because the bridge is still in use here but i am quite sure that we do have a second bridge so anytime now just go away old bridge or are you ever going to stop being used? I don't think it is. And that changes things. And also, I just now realized that we forgot to connect those houses. But you see, that is good because now we can connect all of those up there. Then I'm going to reconnect this because apparently this bridge is still not done. Well, is it done now, though? No, it is not. Interesting. I do not seem to believe that we can actually destroy our bridge. And now these guys are not going anywhere. Why are you not? So the bridge had to go down. 
that was an issue for us. So good thing is that we can easily fix this because now we can build a bridge over the new area here, which is kind of where we want to go. But where do I want to put this bridge? That is then the good question. So if we just go over here, we connect that there, make sure that that one is connected there and then we connect that there. And then I'm hoping that these guys will rush over here because they are in a hurry now since bridges apparently can be quite the pain. So I'm hoping that some of these are going to go up here. Well, we got this one settled at least, but this one up here is still an issue. So there goes one of them there goes another one there goes that one so that one gets into good stuff then this one is draining even more the bad thing is now that while this is not on the timer anymore we can get another roundabout that's a good thing while that one up there is not on a timer anymore i don't want you to connect there Okay, you know, just connect there for now because we don't have time for this right now. So the thing that we're just suffering from so much right now is that we have a huge backlog because all of our cars got caught there. But it looks like, oh, they're actually catching up to this one now. That is a good thing. So we don't have all that much way to drive there, but mm, that one up there is still not very good. And for some reason, all of the dark blue shops are just deciding to plunk themselves down as far away from anything at all as possible so that's not really ideal for us right now i really don't like how this way too early just became already a game of we're almost losing but we're also keeping it just on the verge of not losing so i'm really hoping that we get some more light blue buildings soon up in this area because then we can just make a temporary fix actually i guess we can always just shorten down these routes just for a little bit until we get this under control because right now it's definitely not in control I think if we just make a route there, then all of these guys are going to go up there just a bit faster than they otherwise would. So until we just somewhat fix this situation, I don't care about efficiency. We just got to see if we can make this the shortest route possible for them. We just got ourselves another bridge, which is a good thing. We don't need it yet, but it's good to have later on because I'm thinking once we start having to build all the way, whoops, all the way out here, well, then it's it's good to have another bridge that we can then bridge off over here. Or maybe we're even going to have to build over here eventually. I'm pretty sure that we do. We're getting more and more light blue houses down here so we're just gonna keep on connecting them to that bit right there the good thing is that we're getting more light blue houses because the more light blue houses we get well the easier it should also be for us to live keep up with this demand down there right now we're just gonna connect all of those to there because we need that extra bit of road oh we have two light blue houses we have three light blue houses that i haven't connected there we are good stuff we could actually do with another roundabout here because this is easily gonna be a choke point right so let's see how on earth do we fit a roundabout in here I'm wondering if we can, okay, we can't even squeeze it in there. That's not good. But what if we just put that down there and then we connect that to there? Now that's, that's the first step. Then we connect that to there. All right, we're doing pretty good there. Then we can connect all of these up with this one. And then in an effort to make this a bit better, we can also connect these houses to there. Good stuff. So we got all of these connected to this new roundabout here. Our ring is connected to three roundabouts now. And since we have so many houses down here, I feel like it makes a lot of sense to put it there. But let's just see where this takes us. Oh, and hello there, new house. And another new house. Let's get those in there. It looks like we actually caught up to all of the blue cars. So that's a very good thing. So maybe, just maybe, our system is to some extent working down here. Also, we have a car down there who's just not moving. Now he is. Well, that's a good thing. All right. So the green color is back now, though. And I mean, we can connect that right onto our ring. And that's that's where I think this system starts to be just somewhat effective. When we start getting these situations where we can easily connect these up, well, then that's where all of the good stuff starts happening. I'm very, very positive about that. All right. And all the green houses are plunking down over here, meaning that well i'm tempted to take another roundabout and i just did it because we're gonna have a junction here that might need some correction soon and i actually think it's a pretty good time to do so now so if we just start out by doing this and connect that there then instead of running the green that way around we're just gonna run it this way around we're gonna connect them to this bit now i probably would have wanted the roundabout to connect to our main loop here so i'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that even though this, I think, makes the trip just a little bit longer, but but we should be fine. We're going to go ahead and do it like that. Then everything is still connected, but these cars should be able to transition quicker over to here. At least that's my thinking. So once all of this road is used up, let's just see what this guy does. Well, he stops, but it looks like they can get through here quite all right. Oh, and also this thing down here just upgraded. So that's definitely going to have a higher demand for cars. Now, since we do have a lot of blue cars, oh, there's the light blue as well. And a couple of navy ones let's not let's not do that that was a dumb thing to do let's do this instead and remove that bit so we just save that one so we need more traffic down here now all of them are located over there so they're gonna have to blah 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 blah. that's a long road that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> 
So what we could do instead, and I think this is quite clever, we could actually just build a crossing right there and connect this like that and then bring that road down there. I do not know if this is good, but I'm thinking that we can get some of the traffic easier down here and then they're going to be able to supply cars down there faster. So see, all of these guys just went down there and that was actually rather quick. Oh my God, we're getting a lot of dark blue houses over here. And there we are, connect all of those. So we got an entire neighborhood going on just a bit like we do down here. And that's a good thing. Why are we getting so many houses in this? That is so cool. I'm thinking if we can keep this level up and we're actually supplying quite all right right now, well then we should be pulling some pretty good numbers here in no time. Just gonna make a second connection up to the neighborhood up here and just make a crossing right there because these red houses should be able to supply to this one. And well, just in an effort to save just a few road pieces, I just cleaned up a little bit here. Er, connect that. So where are the most critical points right now? Well, the red cars are now using that extra route that we made there this one looks pretty decent as well and we can just connect that there as well beautiful so we have two bridges at the moment i don't see a huge urge to really expand what we got going here right now because we don't really know where the game wants to take us right but what i'm thinking we could do is that we can just talk a little bit about what we want to do so i'm thinking that the game will more than likely provide us with some sort of stuff over here so we're gonna need around about here now i'm just making one because we don't have one and then, as we've already always done, I kind of want to connect, you know, all of the area that we get down here. And then, once we come up here, we can always, in case we feel like it, make another roundabout. We could have a couple of roundabouts over here, and then we could have, like, a road connecting to all of the houses down here, which would then, through this way, connect to the main road. That's what I think we should aim at doing, but for now, let's just get rid of this, because this we don't need let's just observe here for now see what's going on in our city but it, it, it looks like we're doing pretty good oh my god if there's one thing i'm very good at in this game it's just missing all of the houses that we could potentially connect but that i just don't connect because i don't feel like it we can also just spare ourselves for a couple of pieces of road right there and that's always the lovely thing again let's check are we missing anything no <laughs> <laughs> that's good all right so the further we get over here well the more this becomes a huge crossing but i'm thinking we can actually do something about that so if we just connect this and then delete those bits of road well then the, all of the dark blue cars should go this way and the green cars can still go this way but they will interfere way less with the red and the yellow cars and that's a good thing so see how this should clear up at least that's what i'm hoping Oh, we do have a bit of trouble down here, I see. Not so much anymore, so maybe this worked, actually, because we just got so many cast. Oh, no, no, no. Why did no one tell me that we had a house right here? So we forgot to connect that one. That's not a good thing. So we're going to just steal a couple of these and have them supply down here instead, because I really need those to get down there quickly. And since I need those to get down there quickly, well, then... I'm just going to do this and we're going to delete that bit for a bit because we need well, we need all of these cars to go that way. That is the shortest route possible because we need a lot of traffic down there in no time. So let's hope that they go for that. <laughs> oh, and here's some motorways. So this might actually be good because we have an entire like a massive network of dark blue houses over here. So I'm thinking if we just we'll connect the highway to there and we'll have the highway end down here. That's going to be bonked right in the middle of all of them. And I think that's a pretty good idea. So if we connect that to there now. And I'm really hoping that we're going to have some dark blue cars going down here in no time. Please just go for the highway. Thank you so much. I need so many cars here right now. I need so many cars to go right there. And I'm seeing so many cars going here. And that makes me very happy. Good stuff. I think we crisis avoided for now. And just look at all of the dark blue cars going this way. So this is very good. Oh, God. Okay, this is now where the game gets stressful again, so let's just focus up here. There we are. Right, and then we got that one there and that one there. Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. In an effort to take some of the traffic out of the ring that we made over there, I'm actually going to undo what we did here, because I don't feel like this is such a big crisis anymore, so we can more than likely avoid that. And then just have this one connect to there. Good stuff. So while this did end up getting just a bit hairy there for a little bit, I actually think that we are now looking just about as good as we can at this point in time. We're getting so many greenhouses up here now because we just got a new green shot there. Oh no, okay. So we got some trouble on here. The big question is how do we fix it? 
And I actually think I know the answer to that. So we do have a bridge to many right now, meaning that we can connect there. Then we can bring this one all the way over here and just connect that there. And then we got another ring slowly forming here, as you can see. Now I'm tempted to bring the ring up here and just outside of all of these buildings, but you know what? Let's leave the let's just leave the routes there for the roads there for now. We don't really need them, but we can always delete them in case we do end up needing them because we only have two pieces at the moment. Now all of these green cars. I'm trying to connect those straight onto there. Also, this one just upgraded, so pretty much all of them are upgrading to the massive XXL burger shops right now. And I guess that's a good thing. I just ran out of roads. So let's still eat this. Good. Okay, so it's Sunday now, and hopefully we'll be getting something new soon. I'm actually at this point kind of hoping for a new highway, even though it's not what we need. But did we not? Oh, good. Right, so there's another motorway. Beautiful. That is exactly what we needed. Just going to go and connect this to there. Right, so the biggest issue we have at the moment is the fact that there's a la big, big leg of red cars here. Now, we got a huge chunk of them there. We got a huge chunk of them here. And also all of these blues. And then we have two shops over here that both need red cars. So I'm thinking with our newly acquired highway. Well, with that new highway, I think I just came up with a perfect plan. So we're going to put the highway there. We're just going to bunk it down. And then this is going to be a very short highway, but it, it's going to be a very efficient highway. So if we then go ahead and just... Oh, I don't even know where this is the most clever to do. I'm tempted to say here because then hopefully that's going to be a nice shortcut for some of these that needs to get up here and get to there. And are you not going to connect to this? I don't think you are. Well, then we can turn all of these around and just connect those there again. And then we're just going to have the highway come off there. So hopefully this is going to be a shortcut that they're going to be using over there at least enough because that thing just went into big, big drama mode uh, and it's about to end our entire game. So please get some more cars up here. Oh, that thing too. Ooh, that's potentially quite bad. Um, we're not doing too hot right now. I have to be very honest with you. I see a lot of these timers going off at the moment. Um, and also a huge demand for cars down here. So I don't even know if you can keep up to fix this one. We got two coming in now, which should send it on a cooldown again. That's very good. Oh, no, we don't have any traffic at all coming up here. So you know what? This highway, this highway is going to have to go to one of these. And since it's so close with this one right now, I think we're going to go for that one. I'm seeing a lot of traffic jams at the moment. And also, I don't think this highway is going to be built in time because that one is still being used and we have a huge traffic jam. So that's not really good. Since we have some houses over here that we can use, ran out of roads. Well, then I'm just going to delete this. I cannot see anything. Good. Thank you. We got three roads again. We can just connect there. Then I'm hoping that these over here will potentially supply well, just a few cars for this one before that one dies out because that one is very, very close. We really need some traffic over there. We need some traffic over there now. We're not going to get any traffic over there. So that is going to be 1,030. That was a terrible attempt. That was honestly a terrible attempt. Well, um, I hate to be that guy, but I mean, as long as we just, you know, we beat fresh. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mini Motorways. Let me know what you think about it down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.